what is the best treatment for diabetic retinopathy? This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care Hyderabad. If you have been through my previous videos, you would have understood what diabetic retinopathy is, why it is so important to get it treated, how you can actually go blind with diabetic retinopathy, but at the same time, your vision can be prevented from getting lost if you get treatment on time. So here I am to discuss what the best treatment for diabetic retinopathy is. A decade ago, or probably two decades ago, a treatment called laser photocoagulation was introduced. Now, this treatment was done for anyone with proliferative diabetic retinopathy, which is stage four of diabetic retinopathy. Once you get into that stage, you require something called laser treatment. Laser treatment produces scars on the retina, and these scars ensure that the retina, which is already damaged, is completely destroyed. But that's not a bad thing because what happens is the healthy retina, which is left, is well preserved for life. So if you undergo laser photocoagulation on time, the existing vision or the retina, which is healthy, can be well preserved. It is good to burn off the retina, which is bad or completely ischemic. Now, a few years ago, anti-VEGF injections were introduced. Anti-VEGF injections were meant to reduce the VEGF factor which causes proliferation of new vessels on the retina. This is also responsible for swelling on the macula, which is the central portion of the retina. So anti-VEGF injections have been used ever since because Excellent results have been seen in cases of proliferative diabetic retinopathy. They ensure that the new blood vessel growth reduces, bleeding reduces, and all these complicated cases of diabetic retinopathy can be well treated with anti-VEGF injections. Macular edema, if treated early with injections, of course, can reduce dramatically. However, there are cases which just do not respond because they have become resistant to treatment, they have tried all sorts of remedies and it does not work, such cases may require surgery. Once you do surgery and you peel off the top layer of the retina in the central portion, what can happen is the drug can get better absorbed by the macula and macular edema can actually come down. It is also important to find out why this macular edema has happened in the first place. It is very commonly seen in patients with diabetic nephropathy as well. So if you have a macular edema which is not resolving for some reason, it is possible that you have associated kidney disease. You need to see a nephrologist as well. So there is a stage in diabetic retinopathy where we say no proceeding with any further medical treatment, which is laser and injections. The patient requires surgery. There are cases which just rapidly deteriorate and these cases require early surgery. Even days can cause harm to the retina, especially cases where the jelly inside the eye is beginning to separate and pull up the retina. This causes a retinal detachment and sometimes it can be so bad that even if you operate, you can lose the eye. So it is extremely important to identify which cases require early surgery, which cases can be delayed. This is extremely important and it's for your surgeon to decide. That's why it's important to go to a retinal surgeon and not just a medical retina expert. You need to understand medical retina is just about lasers and injections. A surgeon will be able to decide how early surgery is required to save your vision because it is possible that just with laser and injections your vision can drastically deteriorate in spite of all that treatment and you'll be wondering I have undergone the treatment and still I have lost vision in this eye because there are cases which need surgery remember early vitrectomy can save vision can save your eye and there are patients who say I have done surgery in, in the eye but I have still lost vision 
Again, surgical expertise is important. It is important at which stage have you got retinopathy treated? Have you had intensive bleeding during the procedure? All these things are possible risks when you undergo surgery in a case of diabetic retinopathy. However, if everything goes well, your vision can be preserved for the rest of your life. Vitrectomy is something which you should not be scared to undergo. In fact, the earlier you undergo vitrectomy, the better for your eye.